my goodness. <gasps> are these what I think they are? Oh my God, there's so many of them. Now I'm pretty sure that these are brick cap mushrooms. They are Hyphaloma lateridium, which are edible and a little nutty when cooked, but I've never found them before. So I'm gonna teach you how to spore print so we can find out what these guys are. Spore printing is very important for the not die part of happy snacking, don't die. Okay, and the stem is doing this kind of like fade to brown thing and the gills are slightly gray, so I'm feeling okay about that. We're gonna gather up some mushrooms and put them in this paper bag, yeah. These guys are so cute. Okay, I've got a bunch and I'm gonna leave the rest to keep fruiting. Bye babies. These guys should have a purple brown spore print, so let's take them home and see what they do. <laughs> We're home, let's spore print. Here we have our caps all face down in a container. Now I'm gonna flick a little wire on them and we're gonna cover them up. Now it's time to let these guys set some spores. This is the time passing song. Time is passing, but more time than this. What? It's tomorrow now. It is time. Now for those of you playing along at home, we are hoping for a purple brown spore print. A rusty brown spore print would be deadly gallerina and that's a tummy no-no. This onto a light surface and lift one of these bad boys up. Moment of truth. Oh, Yeah, I would call that purple brown. I would call that purple brown. It's definitely not rust. And that is how you spore print a mushroom. This is my first time finding brick caps. I'm still not super familiar with them, so I'm actually not gonna eat these. At least not until I show them to a friend who's more familiar with them. There's no shame in that game. We're all out here learning. Thanks for coming along. Happy snacking. Don't die. Seriously, spore print your mushrooms. Don't die.